Hey guys, welcome to the Backyard Vlog. My name is John O'Dell. Today's Monday, May the 13th, 2019. Today we're going to recap what happened with the DC shoot-off. Uh, Friday night they announced the theme. The theme was adrenaline, and I had to shoot a minimum of three photos, maximum five. So anywhere between three, four, or five, you're good. Uh, so woke up around 4.30 Saturday morning to a torrential downpour, heavy, heavy rains and wind, lightning, and uh, checked the weather and it was supposed to be going on all day. So it kind of put a damper on me going out and finding something that would fit this theme. So I put a feeler out on Facebook and I asked if anybody, any adrenaline junkies were out there doing anything today, you know, I, I thought I'd get a hit back on, you know, maybe somebody working on their car, race car or something like that. But instead, I got a reply from uh, Mr. Giles, whose son is a pitcher for Faith Academy, and they, him and his friends were out there surfing at Dolphin Island. And I just assumed that the weather was as bad there as it was here in Wilmer. Turns out it wasn't. It was nice and sunny and breezy and comfortable out there. So at the last minute, I decided, okay, we're going to drive the 70-plus miles there, take some photos and race back, edit them, upload them, edit them, and send them in. So I packed up all my gear, and Evelyn grabbed the little guy, and off we went to Dolphin Island. Now, this was getting a little late. We're getting around noon time, so we're gonna get there about 1, 1 1.30, so I wouldn't have very much time to shoot and turn around and come back and get this in by the deadline, which is four my time, five Eastern time. So we went out there, I took a quick look around, didn't see uh, Eli and the guys surfing. They may have been on the west end, I don't know. But I did see two guys and a dog, and I thought, oh, this is great. At least I can get a dog the adrenaline uh, of swimming in the, the Gulf of Mexico. Turns out this was the first time this dog had been to the beach of any kind in a body of water that large with the waves crashing, wind, people. So the adrenaline was high when it finally did go in the water. So I did shoot the dog, grabbed our gear, and headed back to the house. Got home at 3.30, my time. That means I had 30 minutes to edit and upload them. And I did. Um, so I submitted them, and at 7.30 Eastern time, they began the judging, and you could actually view it live online. So I was watching. and. Uh, what they do when they're judging is they'll take each photographer anonymous entries and they'll pop them up on the screen a large projection screen and they'll view them as a whole and then move on to the next one view them move on to the next one view them move on to the next one so you get to the last one and then they'll double back to the beginning then they'll start judging and they'll either say in or out as it meets the theme and creates a story along that theme line. And uh, for the first time since I've been involved with this, I actually saw a series of photographs get cut on the first viewing. Not the second where they actually make the cuts, but on the first one. And that was mine. I got cut in the reviewing process. And it basically was because one of the judges, I think, took exception to one of my photos. The second photo in my series, where the dog is looking out at the gulf, I'm behind it, and the gulf is on the right, the dog is on the left, and somebody said, oh, a butt shot, a butthole shot, or something to that. Uh, there was some laughter, and immediately following the laughter, one of the judges says, okay, that one's out. And then they proceeded to go through the review stage and then back to the beginning where they started, uh, or the preview stage, and then they went back to the beginning where they started doing the review for the first time and in or out, in or out, in or out for eight series. Uh, so I was actually cut on the preview, which kind of disappointed me because I didn't get a chance to really see the story that I had laid out. And some of the ones that did make it uh, one of them that they, they 
deliberated on for a long time was a three shot series of a remote controlled crane. It had a little bucket on it with the little teeth and down on the table it had a tiny little bottle of little like airplane glue or something. It had it sitting there up above uh, looking down so you can see the glue, you can see the crane. Shot one. Shot two is the little bottle of glue hanging from the crane. And shot three was looking down at the box that had the word adrenaline on it. So that was one of the, the ones that they actually considered as a contender to win uh, this. Now I'm not dogging the other photographer because he did follow the theme, it did say adrenaline. But there were so many others that were so much better uh, than this as far as completing the theme all the way through. His first two photos did not complete Adrenaline, only the last one did. Uh, and he did a th three shot minimum, which means that the first two he really didn't think were there, but the third one had the word Adrenaline in it, so it met the criteria. So, but anyhow, uh, the winners, uh, I think were, the winner, I should say, was appropriately uh, decided it, it was a good choice uh, however I don't think that uh, and don't don't get me wrong I am not complaining about not winning because the ones that won were better than mine I agree with that I don't have a problem with that what I have a problem with is the judging um, had they taken the time to preview them all and then go back through like they always do and like they did with this one exception and look at the stories uh, the photos as a sequence telling a story um, I probably would have made the second maybe third round of cuts uh, maybe I don't know but I definitely would have made it past the preview round everybody makes it past the preview round with this one exception um, so anyhow, I didn't make the final, I didn't make any cut. I didn't make first, second, or third, which is no big deal. I mean, there's plenty more of these where I'll keep trying until I went and get that first place award. Uh, and uh, I will, I'll eventually get it. Uh, it was the decisive manner in which my series was cut. Now here, I'm gonna show you what my entry was. Um, when I went to the beach, um, well, he here's a little video of what happened down there. Not sure how well you can hear me out in the wind today, but today this is our backyard. The backyard vlog coming from Dolphin Island. We're on the east end, where they cleared off the beach and made it beautiful compared to what it used to be with all the tree stumps, the cypress stumps. It was horrible. Uh, not even worth walking on the beach now. It's Beautiful. Anyhow, we're here doing the assignment for the DC shoot off, and the uh, theme was adrenaline. Uh, some friends of ours said they were surfing down here, and they're probably down on the west end because I don't see them here. But that's okay because uh, we found a nice, pretty little dog. She's uh, over here, and I'll show you in a minute. She was frolicking in the water, first time she'd ever been to the beach. And uh, we got some nice shots of her. Her drilling's pumping. She was having fun, swimming, rolling in the sand. This is a good old time. All right, now during this video, you can actually see the uh, the dog owner and the dog out, and he keeps kind of gently pushing the dog away, and the dog is almost at a near panic. If, if you could read panic in any animal's eyes, that was it because it did not like being that far away and something that he had never been exposed she had never been exposed to before so the adrenaline in this dog was pumping uh, and I captured it in the photos and I'll show you the photos here uh, first photo is the dog they just got there and the dog's looking happy sitting there everybody's content they're putting all their stuff down I'm getting set up I look up and the dog kind of looking around, got this kind of smiley look on his face, he looks around, no worries whatsoever in the world, just kind of, hey, what's going on? Second photo is the butt shot. This is it. Okay, now he sees the gulf. 
or she sees the gulf and she is not happy about the noise that the waves are making, the size of this body of water, and the fact that they're going to go out in it. Now, this is the one where I think caused me to lose or be eliminated in the preview round, is that one shot. And to me, I, I don't see a problem with they concentrated on the wrong thing. Instead of looking at the butthole, they should have looked at the overall photo in sequence. One, two, three, four, five. Now the next shot, you can actually see the dog is separated from the master and there is that sense of, I gotta get back, I gotta get back, I gotta get back. I, my feet can't touch anything. I'm in water, I'm swimming, and this is the first time I've been to this place. And You can actually see the adrenaline live and I tried to capture it on film. Um, and in the next frame, the dog finally made it back to the owner and could not get close enough to this man. Put his arms around it, his back legs up against him, put his head here and like, don't let me go, don't let me go, please don't let me go. And to me, that was just, I, I've been there with my dog and I know what they feel like when they finally grab a hold to you and they know that they're secure with you. They, they get a sense of relief. Out there, their adrenaline's pumping, they're panicking, they're on the verge of panicking and they just want some safe island they can go to it, or harbor and you are it, they try to get back to you. And uh, of course, the last one is the elation that the dog felt when it finally got out of the water back on the sand. It just laid down and started rolling around in the sand. Now, if any dog owner will tell you that a dog will only expose its belly when it's comfortable. And being out of the water and back on dry land, that dog felt very comfortable. So the adrenaline had pumped out. And that was my series. And I'll show it to you again. One, two, three, four, and five. But it didn't make it past the preview round because of the butthole comment. Uh, and I don't hold any ill feelings towards the judges. I know it's tough for them to come in and do that. And I at least expected to make it past the preview round. Everybody does. But to be cut in that preview was just, it was disappointing to say the least. And they didn't even take the time to look at the entire story as I'd laid it out. They just saw the butthole and cut it because they didn't think it fit uh, what they were trying to. But yeah, a crane holding a glue bottle did. So. Okay, well, that's enough about that. Um, Today's Monday, we did go out and shoot a job right down the street from us, about four miles down the street. It wasn't really all that exciting. It was just a, a semi-truck service place the guy has at his, uh, at his home uh, down on Lot Road. So we really didn't do, we weren't there that long. We didn't do too much. Uh, we just checked all uh, the surrounding areas. We've been there before, so it was pretty much the same thing as before. So uh, that's pretty much it for Friday night, Saturday. Sunday was Mother's Day, so we really didn't, I didn't, we didn't do anything. I got up and made breakfast for Evelyn, and then I told her, just do what you want today, but don't work. Just do what you want. And she did. She went in and she played some computer games, and she uh, caught up on her social activities online, and, and uh, I think she enjoyed her day. Uh, but that was Mother's Day. And uh, then we got up this morning and went and did that one little job, and I'm here doing the recap of what happened Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, but that's it. We'll be back in touch with you guys. And just remember that we always have an open spot for you guys right here in the backyard. But if you don't get here, and if I see you out on the street or on the sideline, or if I don't see you on the street or on the sideline, always make wise choices. All right, guys. Y'all take care, and thanks for watching the Backyard Vlog.